Happy New Year, uh, I'm Nick, and uh, I wanna talk about new beginnings. Uh, and to do that, I wanna look really quickly at the story of Joshua. If you don't know who Joshua is, he is a leader of the Israelite nation who took over after Moses. So Moses was the guy who got the Ten Commandments and led Israel through the desert and all these different things. And when Moses finally passes away, he passes the baton along to Joshua. And Joshua is instructed by the Lord about going into the Promised Land. And at the very beginning of the book of Joshua, in verse 6, this is what the Lord says to Joshua. Be strong and courageous, for you shall cause this people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to do according to all the law that Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. And in verse 8, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I love the story of Joshua for a lot of different reasons, but one of the things that I've noticed in this last time that I've read through it is that as Joshua prepares for this new beginning and quite a huge task to take on to conquer this promised land, the first thing that God says is to be strong and courageous. And then next to that, what God says is to study his word and to meditate on it day and night. And that if you truly want to be strong and prosper and have this courage that I'm telling you to have, God's saying you got to study my word and know my word. And so uh, I personally am looking at this and would like to make my New Year's commitment to spend time, at least 30 minutes of my first hour every morning in the word and 30 minutes of the last hour of my day in the word. And I don't know exactly how that'll look. Sometimes it might just be reading straight through for a while for 30 minutes. And sometimes that might be spending time with the passage slowly for 30 minutes. And it'll probably for the first little while, I'll be like 10 or 15 minutes in and be like, oh my gosh, it's only been 15 minutes. I don't know what, I'm, I'm running out of gas. But as I go, as I just set a timer, that time I, I pray that the Lord will fill it. And as you make your new year resolution, maybe you've already, maybe you've already made it and maybe you've already given up on it, whatever it is, uh, I pray that you would bring the Lord into that and that he could guide you through it. And it's never too late to start something new. We don't have to do it at just the new year. So uh, thank you and that's all I have for you.